second reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah C- culture with a, uh, from the translation, as a translation from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. This is the Gullah Bible. Uh, so we've been up back here. Should I go further back? Go this way. This way. This way. Ah, I'll go this way. All right. I don't know. So, Matthew. Matthew 20, uh, page 72. Let's go Matthew um, 20. Let's go to Matthew 20. Um, uh, chapter 20. I'm trying to read down. I always do this. The um, reason why I have to read my reading glasses is because, see the way this Bible is, the large print is Gullah, the small print is uh, the King James Version of the Holy Bible. So we're, we're, say we're going to go to Matthew 20 and go to 3. Where we go? About 9 o'clock, the man gone out again to will or demand them the agenda. And he see some older man, them they stand up, they in they ain't they do nothing. And the translation And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. As you know, we do this twice because uh, well, we're learning, learning. We're reading the Gullah language. If you don't know what we're doing, we just read it. It's like if he was a newly free person. You see, some getting into the head, trying to get into the head of a newly freed uh, Geechee person. I'm, I have my mother's lineage, my mother's side. I have a Gullah Geechee. So let's do it. We do it twice. Let's do it again. So this is uh, Matthew twenty three. About nine o'clock, the man going out again to the well, all the men, them, the gender, and he see some other men, them, then stand up, they, and they ain't do not, da do nothing. And the uh, translation. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Reading from the Gullah Bible by me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>